Welcome to the DIN and Stark Apparatus video. This is a video where I will demonstrate how to set up a DIN and Stark Apparatus. As we're going to use an electric heating mantle, we're going to assemble that onto the retort stand, fix it at the back, and then, as usual, we have to add a boss and a clamp. In this example, we'll have to use two Please make sure again that the openings of the bosses point upwards. In this way it's very easy to align the apparatus later on. And as you will see later on, it's quite important to align the apparatus vertically because then it's easier to finally assemble it in the end. Next piece of equipment is our condenser, which goes onto the top clamp. Then comes our Dean and Stark trap, which we put onto the lower clamp. And since these two pieces of equipment have to be put together, we now align the apparatus vertically so that the two quick fix joints fit easily together. And then we secure them with a yellow clip. Before we set up the rest of the apparatus, we turn the apparatus a little bit out of the way and we add the tubing to the condenser. Please make sure that you secure the tubing to the condenser using Jubilee clips. So what we have here is our round bottom flask, where we have our solution. In order to add the solution, we will use a funnel, as is depicted here. Then we add roughly that amount of anti-bumping granules, which helps the solution to reflux nicely without bumping too much. And finally we add our reaction mixture to the round bottom flask. Remove our funnel, taking care that nothing drips into the heating mantle. And then we assemble the whole apparatus. And you can see here clearly why it's so important to have it vertically aligned, because it is very easy now to assemble the apparatus onto the round bottom flask and secure it with the two clamps and finally with the yellow clip. Here you can see how it is connected in the fume cupboards. As you can see the tubing points a little bit away. It might even be bent to the points that the water flow is obstructed. Again, an advantage of the vertical alignment is that you can easily turn the condenser around in a way that no tubing is obstructed. Then you connect the water inlets to the green tap. Again, secure the tubing with the Jubilee clip. And the water inlet goes to the bottom part of the reflux condenser. The water outlet is the top part and it goes down to the sink. Make sure that the tubing is weighed down with the boss so it stays in the sink and that the water flow isn't too high, just enough for the condenser to be cooled down nicely.